Alright, in this video you'll see how you can change your icon as well as your title on your React website in just a few simple steps. So let's first start by creating a brand new React project. And let's call this a demo site. And while we wait, we can open up an icons website where we can download icons for our project. So let's just go with icon icons. If you are a student developer, you can actually sign up for the GitHub student developer pack. And they actually offer you free icons for icons out. Well, in the meantime, you can search for categories and maybe some animals. And if you search here, you can see that you can get free icons. But since not everyone's a student, let's just stick with the icon icons here. And let's just go ahead and close this ad. And you can actually download icons here. So it's going to download the ICO here. And or in the meantime, it looks like our project is done setting up. Let's CD into it and open up VS Code. So I have a clean project here. If you open up the terminal and just run the npm start. And so currently you notice that the icon is the default React icon and we have a title that says React app. So first of all, to change the icon, you need to go under public and notice that we have a faithicon.ico and if you click on it, you'll see that it is the default React icon. So first of all, go ahead and delete this and drag in your new icon over here. Rename this to Faith icon and make sure that it's spelled exactly as Faith icon because if you look at your manifest.json, you see that the source is faithicon.ico. So you have to name your icon the same. And if you refresh here, you notice that nothing seems to happen. And if you do a hard refresh, nothing seems to happen either. And so if you run into this bug, it's likely due to the caching of your browser. So currently I'm in incognito mode, but if I open it in a normal window and refresh here, you'll notice that the icon changes. And so if I refresh back here, you'll notice that it also changes here. So if you're testing it in your normal browser, this should all work fine. But if let's say you run into the issue where your icon is not updating, even though you change the file over here, then it's slightly due to your cache. You can either clear your cache or disable your cache before you refresh again. All right, so that's for the icon. What about the title then? For the title, I'm going to use something called React Helmet. So React Helmet is quite a popular tool for managing your head tags. And to install it, what you need to do is to either use yarn add or npm install, which is what I'm going to use. So copy and then paste. So npm install, paste it here. And while we wait, we can actually start making the edits. So what you'll need is this helmet over here. And you see that you can actually customize the title as well as the canonical link that you want your site to refer to. Besides that, there's also the meta name description, which is very important for SEO purposes. And so we'll add this in as well. But first, let's find the app and paste this over here. And then we can also drag the description and paste it here and just give it a simple description that's relevant to your project for example testing can type testing icon and titles and you notice that if we save we have helmet is not defined because we didn't import helmet so if you scroll up you can copy this import helmet and paste it here and meanwhile the package has finished installing so let's check it out let's refresh and we'll see that it's my title and we're going to change this with let's say demo site save and the changes are reflected over here if you do have a url or a custom url you can replace the href over here and that's about it Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you do have any questions or thoughts, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.